You're listening to the Smash Bros. Cast, episode 33. I'm your host, N64 Josh, player two, Nightcrawler. What's up, dude? Hey, how's it going? It is going well, my friend. It is going very, very well. Woo! Smash has been... been, uh, Yeah, Smash has been... uh, it's been it's been in the news a little bit this week. But before we get started, <laughs> guys, if you would like to get yourself a free book from Audible, go to audibletrial.com slash SBC. Pick up something awesome like Ready Player One or uh, Console Wars. There's some good stuff out there. That's audibletrial.com slash SBC. The chair I'm sitting in is from OP Seat. If you go to n64josh.com slash OP Seat, you automatically save $10 at checkout. I love these chairs. I sit in them for very long periods of time, and uh, they're great for my back and everything. I love it. So that's n64josh.com slash OP Seat. We do this show live on twitch.tv slash n64josh. We shoot for 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, but stuff happened that made us a little bit late. But good stuff that we're going to talk about a little bit later on. So with that, I think we can get into our countdown. Look at you with the button all ready to go right away. Hey, I, I'm impressed. Yeah, I, I'm here for you to impress you. <laughs> all right, guys. Today is October 26th. And we are 41 days and change until our midnight launch, six weeks away from Smash, one week away from our controllers, and hopefully shorter time till a direct and possibly a Smash test. Right? Fingers crossed. My, Fingers crossed. My gut feeling is within the next... with with less, less than two weeks. Yeah, within, the, within two weeks, we will be playing Smash in, in the form of a beta. If we're not, I'm at going a, to be, our house. I'm going to be very, very surprised. So yep. next Friday we get controllers and the smash switch hype. Yep. You're, you're picking that up, right? Yep. Got it pre-ordered. already. I, I will admit I did see. Well, I think, we'll, well, I did see some pictures, I think, of people trying to sell. I don't know why people are trying to sell it early or whatever, but uh I think it was I think it was on Reddit, but I did see a picture of it out sitting in the in the dock with the Joy Cons, and it it looked a little bit better than how Nintendo had kind of put out the promotional stuff for it. But st- I'm still the Joy Cons are kind of unimpressive. The only thing I'm interested in is th- is that dock. But I thought it was funny that people were trying to advertise get Smash early, and they didn't realize that it's a download code. <laughs> I mean, I think it's just uneducated people that were at, at a target or a Best Buy or whatever and ripped open the box that maybe is sitting there in the warehouses early. But <laughs> yeah. it was, it was entertaining at least to see that like, Oh, get smash early. It's out. Nope. It's, it's not, it's not It's a download but, code, but good try. Good try. <laughs> we, we do appreciate it. <laughs> so, all right. Well, getting into our news, we got uh, EGLX going on the uh, the uh, Canada Cup 2018. We got some we got some some dates and times for you here. So um, Melee and Smash 4 doubles is actually happening right now as we speak. Right. Yeah. The 26th. That's happening right now. Um, tomorrow, 11 a.m. And I'm guessing all of these times since Toronto, I believe that's Eastern. I believe so. Yeah. So all of these are in uh, uh, Eastern. So there's a chance that 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 the doubles is, is already over. But, I, you know, we, we can look into it. Uh, the 27th, 11 a.m. Eastern. You've got um, 5v5 going on uh, at 2 um, wave a singles at four wave B singles at six top 32. And then Sunday you've got your top eight starting at 11 AM for uh melee. And at 2 PM uh, you've got your top eight for smash four. Yeah. So, say, I just, I just clicked on their Twitch channel that we have a link in the description. Um, and they have a, a banner up right now that says coming up next is smash Four cruise. So that's coming up here. I mean, I would think shortly. And that is, uh, that's three o'clock Pacific right now. So if anybody's listening, it's going on right now. So I'm thinking 2 PM Eastern. That's, that's going to be a little bit, that's going to be kind of early for me. I'm going to let's, let's, I'm going to plan on hosting this and, uh, so we can kind of watch together and, and, and chat. Like I might like actually stream it so we can, um, we can kind of do live commentary. I don't, if you're busy, whatever crawler, no, no worries. Mm-hmm. If you can get away, then maybe we can, we can kind of 
um, watch together and, and, and hang out with chat. But that's going on this weekend. Next week, we will have the results for you. And uh, yeah, it looks, uh, looks, looks to be pretty I'm pr- exciting. I'm pretty sure a friend of the show, Vicky Kitty, is there. I'm pretty she, sure. She is. She's... Uh, yeah. She's commentating, I think, right? Yeah, she is. So that's that's very cool. So that's happening. We had a very interesting leak this week. Now we're not gonna we're not gonna say what characters were leaked, just because I know there's a lot of people that don't want to hear spoilers, and we don't know if it's spoilers. My gut feeling, and from what I've what I've found, is that it's just a very convincing fake. So before I get into the the reasons why I think it's fake, crawler, what like, what did you think when you saw this, this? I'm trying to think. Was this when I'm trying to remember what day was it? Tuesday or Wednesday morning that this dropped? I'm thinking it was. I think it was Tuesday morning. Tuesday, and I mean, so the thing that made the thing that tried to prove its authenticity was that this was a French, I believe, uh, marketing material provider um for i think that's been proven for lots of different companies and it was a very blurry image of the the big everyone's here banner that keeps getting updated as we get directs and what we saw at e3 and it had i believe five characters i think is what we saw seven um seven oh i so i mean i i glanced through it i tried to not want to have a lot of stuff spoiled but i did look at it and it's giant grains of salt with that, but it it was very blurry. I mean, so but the thing that made added tried to add credibility to it was the fact that there was uh, how the Grinch stole Christmas promotional material just sitting out next to it. Mm-hmm. That people, I mean, that's the biggest thing that the, the news articles picked up was like this. This is a legitimate marketing material uh, company that that prints this stuff, and that's why it's there. But uh, it was some it was a lot of with the seven characters there were some that were everyone was asking for some that came out of complete left field that like i i didn't even know i i saw some people in discord were like is it bad that i don't know who some of these leaked characters are just cuz it was so obtuse um but yeah i mean it it it's kind of what everyone's hoping for. And then, like I said, some of that just randomness. So I think once we get kind of into why we think it's absolutely fake, we'll, we'll kind of dive into that a little bit. But what, how about you? what do you think? Oh dude, it was, it was, it was like pure unadulterated hype, you know, like <laughs> seeing every, seeing all the characters, seeing some characters that I never expected that go all the way back to the black box series, NES games. I was like, uh, one that was, that's like near and dear to my heart. It's not a super great game, but I played it with my, like my best friend growing up and he, you know, he has since passed. And so like, when I saw that, I was like, Oh, that is, I, I think that's the one I had to look up. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> it's kind of an obscure title, but like, I mean, to me, it, it was like, Oh, that would be rad, like totally out of left field and, and awesome. Um, and so, and it seemed to, it seemed to kind of just be what everybody wants like with the 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 um the smash community as a whole it seemed like um other than missing the Fortnite character i mean everybody was there i, I saw i saw a photoshop later of putting putting steve in there so uh, it, it was such a blurry image you could have put whatever you wanted in some of these right spots. right exactly so um but, and I mean, and it was super convincing. The internet went crazy. They started finding like this artist linked in. They, they found the company that it was from. And as it turns out, that company released a, uh, they released a statement and here's what it says. Um, rumors say we are linked to a confidentiality leak on the latest super smash bros game. All these rumors point towards one thing. Some journalists need to stop purely relying on Google. Now, before I go any further with this, the, the leak happened because the supposed artist sent a snap to uh, a friend who then screenshotted that put it in a discord and then it went to didn't, didn't cover up the name fully y- yeah and, yeah which is a bad uh, if you're going to leak something protect yourself right so <laughs> here it is it says the person seemingly at the source of these rumors assuming it is indeed them have left our company since november 2016 
This person did not update their LinkedIn profile as such. Some people incorrectly affirmed that Les Adelier uh, Marina is linked to this. I don't know if I said his name correct. Um, we do not work with Namco. We did not work with Namco in the past and would like to work with. Let's see. We did. I'm sorry. I'm trying to read this too quickly. We did work with Namco in the past and would like to work with him again, but we currently do not work together um, for the launch of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. These rumors uh, stain our largely acknowledged professionalism, most notably when it comes to respecting confidentiality. We have contacted every news site along with Namco and Nintendo to stop this misinformation from sped- spreading and to evaluate uh, which judicial means we shall put into motion. So um, I'm saying this is uh, this. Yeah. Th- I mean, I think that's an adequate cover your, your, you know what kind of thing statement, but also I don't think Namco is taking the lead on promotional material for this game by any means. No. Now, Let's 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 tear this apart a little bit, because although this company says, no, it's not us and no, it's not him. Maybe they used his name to throw people off the scent of who it actually was. Yeah, because they, they I mean, LinkedIn, LinkedIn with searching for if you know what kind of company you're looking for, I'm sure you can find stuff on LinkedIn if you want to put a scapegoat on something. So I, I don't know. I don't know. It it. Again, it's those blurry photos, right? So I'm always going to lean towards the side of every leak is fake until it's confirmed by Nintendo. And I mean, some of these leaks that have come out have been, have been legit. And I I trust the backroom photo of the GameStop promotional material that before I trust something like this. Right. The blurry photo is just hard to, uh, it's hard to believe the, uh, you know, like when that photo went out that showed the E3 uh, kiosks, that was that was fairly convincing. Like, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a real um, uh, uh, a real document or whatever. But mm-hmm. um, interesting. None. Nonetheless, it got, it got a lot of different news outlets and people and other things to talk about smash bros which in the long run is not a bad thing i'm i mean especially if it proves out to be fake nintendo just comes out ahead on it all well and i'm not like we can we can this is i mean this is like get your 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 tin foil caps <laughs> right but like there's a massive game coming out this week and if you want to take the wind out of some out of the sails of a game like like red dead <laughs> Just yeah, just <laughs> yeah. I mean, put out a blurry, probably, put out a blurry image right? on IGN. Probably drew, went way up for for Smash when a week where it should have been mainly Red Dead, most mm-hmm. likely. Yeah, so like you just we never anymore. You never know what is what is all marketing because it's like, uh, hey, do we want to not pay for some for some more <laughs> hype? Because we have a way. It's called a blurry yep. photo. And the Grinch who stole Christmas, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it, su- supposedly, I did. I, 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 I believe I read this. The characters that were mentioned in this leak, and 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 don't quote me on this because I didn't I didn't go and and recheck it, but I I thought they matched up with the person who leaked characters earlier, who so far has hit every single one of them. I I think some of them were in there, yes, but then there were some of those obscure ones that that nobody has uh, nobody has yeah. mentioned yet. So anyway, interesting. It gets the buzz. There's so much buzz. Like it was so much fun. Discord was just blowing up. People were, you know, everybody's trying to investigate this stuff. Like um, <laughs> Dylan from the chat says, "If this is fake, I ain't even mad." A plus for effort. Like <laughs> that's the thing at this point. Like it's just. Any any little bit of of news, fake or not, is just kind of like it's just fun to see the community get excited. I saw a lot of different like um, tweets with like, man, the Grinch is really stealing Christmas this year, and you know things like that. Like the Grinch is ruining everything. Well, so speaking of little bits <laughs> of news, um, I guess 
I, I've I've been looking for the the raw footage from Nintendo, but apparently this came out of the um the Wendy's tailgate tour promotional trailer or video or something that they've kind of been posting on the update of of how that's going along, and um we have a link here in the uh show notes for a a YouTube video that's kind of breaking down some of this stuff that came out of this video, and this is directly from Nintendo, so I don't know if it's oops on their part i don't think anything from them on this matter would be an oops but we got to see um two stages that i think were kind of known about but we hadn't seen yet and that was mute city uh mute city from the snes style uh which is a stage that's currently on the 3ds version and then also a short little clip of rainbow cruise which i guess was um, I, don't, I don't remember it playing that too much but in melee and brawl um but then the big news that came out of this was on the mute city super nintendo stage there was a random unused item sitting on an a vacant platform in the in the game that resembles i guess a new item that is going to be in the game but the video that we have linked kind of breaks it down that it's a little bit different and what the internet has kind of latched onto with this is that it's a item from golden sun, which I guess we haven't, I don't think we've had any kind of item from golden at all in smash. I'm going to put my tinfoil cap back on again. Okay. And like no joke. What if this is also intentional? And what if there are things that we have missed that have been thrown out in front of us, but nobody has spotted (laughs) them yet? Like we're talking about going through these videos like frame by frame right over this little plant. And they're like, it's from Golden Sun. It it confirms it confirms it confirms Isaac. It confirms the leak. Everything is <laughs> everything is confirmed. The Grinch leak is real. <laughs> Wave tsunami said I saw that one that said how the Grinch leaked Smash Bros. Yeah. What a jerk. What a jerk. <laughs> so it. It's this tiny little item. Like I went and found the screenshots of this thing. It's like, what? <laughs> who, what are you looking at? You're like, how, how are and you? It's in a, and it's in a little bubble too. It's not even like <laughs> how, like I, the, the video that we posted here, it, it, it has the item from golden sun, which was on game boy advance. And <laughs> it's like this little thing in a bubble that is sitting on the stage that, even in the video, they're like, yeah, it could be a food item in Smash. We don't know, but it, it also looks like this. So, yeah, Golden Sun. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> like, was was uh, the villager anywhere to be found? Was he planting a tree? Was it like a frame before the tree the, goes I in? I think in the clip it was Ness, and I don't know who it was, but yeah, it wasn't villager. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I love that this is like, I mean, this is top page of Reddit, guys. This is the top page of Reddit, like mouse over to see spoiler. There's a leaf. There's a possible plant with a leaf in Smash (laughs) Ultimate. It confirms so much. (laughs) I love that people are at this level of hype for this game, that every little thing is like being scrutinized and, um, it was Ness and Captain Falcon, Mr. Cool Red Luigi saying so, I, I, dude, like, cool. I don't have any idea. I have no clue. I saw these the pictures hype, and I was the like, trains already left the station. So this is y- yeah, just we're, cruising along. we're about to leave the tracks at this point. This thing is flying so fast, <laughs> you know, like, man, oh, man, just just bonkers. I love it. I think it's great. I think it's great. We let, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. So. Uh, another company that decided to jump on this hype train during all of these leaks was Flex Tape, and I have a link to some of their some of their tweets. Basically, they were like, "Let's see, I have the. I'm going to read the link right here. Read the uh, <laughs> read the tweet here. So so funny. If you guys are familiar with this Flex like Flex Seal." Right. Flex seal is what it's called. You can basically it's like an infomercial and you can slap it over a sink that has a hole in it and it will clog the hole. Right. It's like, you know, it, it's great. Well, they <laughs> Nintendo everything put out a uh, a post on Twitter, a tweet. It said rumor leak reveals new Smash Bros. Ultimate Fighters, you know, and then it had a link to their post. Flex seal 
puts a stop sign, like quotes the tweet, puts a stop sign. It says stopping leaks since birth. It got almost 50, like almost 5,300 retweets and almost 17,000 likes. Like it's probably one of the best tweets they ever did. And my gosh, if you go through and, and read some of the, the, the comments, some of the memes that were thrown in, like, uh, Phil Swift saws the competition. He's the guy that does all the infomercials. Also, whoever runs the, the Wendy's, uh, <laughs> social media account, yes. they hopped on it just, just as fast as well. Cause they, they're like, well, since everything's getting announced, they've had, uh, they had like the character announcement screen and it said, Wendy, Wendy joins the fighters. Wendy broils the competition or something like that. So they, they they got in on it too. Whoever Wendy's social media is is savage as well. Right, because someone asked them what would McDonald's final smash be, and they said falling <laughs> off their face on the edge and falling to their death. There's something along those lines, like well, Wendy smokes <laughs> the competition, something like that. Yeah, yeah. It's, right. <laughs> it's just too funny. Like uh, you know. But I mean, that's like, that's more eyes for Smash, right? I mean, there's probably people wondering, like, what the heck is Wendy's Tweety? Like, what are they, what competition are they in? You know, like, what is all this about? So it's just, it's, it's crazy the amount of hype that, uh, that is going on right now. I guess their social media directors just go to trending on Twitter and find out what's going on and then just ride that wave oh yeah yeah it's it's really really cool oh i have the, this video of this guy cutting this boat apart right now is running i gotta close this <laughs> here we go okay so <laughs> yeah like really really just a fun week for uh for smash and all that stuff so let's let's jump into the smash blog and we starting there's with drama, there's drama with this first the post, drama too, so. with the first one it's uh, i'll let you go ahead and read it it's luigi all right, so this was from the 21st. Uh, today's fighter is number nine, Luigi. Uh, he can jump higher than his brother, Mario, and his up special uh, super jump punch will gain maximum damage and launching power when hitting an opponent uh, right at the start. Uh, it's truly a special move. I don't know. Okay. I don't know what the quotes, what, what they're going for there. Uh, he also uses his new uh, poltergust for his throw, which caused the internet to break. I think for a short little time because they saw throw and immediately assumed grab and that we were going to have a, a tractor kind of Pac-Man esque grab for Luigi. And that was kind of setting Luigi mains off. So what did, what did you, I, cause I, <laughs> I read that pretty quick when it, when it went out and I, I immediately assumed that as well. And then I had to read it a little bit, Close, more closely. I was in Elegant Stream when uh, I believe it's his girlfriend and her. I think it's Lauren is her name. I, I think if I'm wrong, forgive me. But um, she was like, Luigi's grab has the poltergust, and he was like, No, <laughs> no, like just angry face, like mm -mm, no, <laughs> no. And so then you see all these tweets, like Zero was tweeting stuff out. Like there was a lot of people, uh, a lot of people like this got a lot of people wondering, but I think what happened and I did this too. As soon as I saw poltergeist for his throw, I immediately thought it means for his grab. Yeah. That's immediately what I thought. And then I read it more closely and I saw throw, which to me, I'm guessing this could just be added Adam animation to his, uh, to his down throw possibly because the poltergeist not only works as a vacuum and, and sucks things in. It also shoots um, things. Up. It, yeah. It also will, will blow things out or whatever. So that could be all this is, is it's just an added animation to his, uh, to, uh, to his down throw or something yeah, like it's that. It's just promotional Pr promote your new game in the biggest game of the year. And, kind of deal. and yeah, I don't like, I'm curious to see what it is exactly. We don't, we don't really know. The video doesn't show anything. I love the video of Luigi, right? Like he's just so, he's so goofy. Like he does that like human torpedo and he sticks right into the side of the stage and he just, just sits there like a human dart. <laughs> you know? yep. So pretty, uh, pretty, pretty funny. If you ask me, 
I have a whole article about his grab, like, oh, maybe they can use it as the, it's like a tether. Maybe it'll be a new way to, uh, a new way for him to recover. No, it's just tied to his throat. It's probably going to be very, like, probably not much of anything. No, no major, like, glaring change. Cause if you think about it, other than, other than Link losing his tether and gaining that bomb, because it's just to stay true to the, um, to the, the character model that they're using for Breath of the Wild, I don't think any other, um, returning characters from smash four are seeing any major changes like that. Yeah. Nothing comes to I mind mean, as far as like having, like he's never been able to have a range th- ranged grab. And now he does. Yeah. And that was main. That was, <laughs> I feel like the link stuff was made perfectly clear at E3 that that was changing. And it was because it was going with the breath of the wild model, but you still have that option. If you want a link that has, has the hook shot you have young link and you have uh tune link that still have that so it doesn't really take away a core gameplay style that you would have with with said character and for luigi to kind of lose that i think would definitely mess with people that kind of make their make their way with (laughs) with him i mean elegant being one of those people that that would mess with them quite a bit. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So I think it's going to be something minor. I don't think it's going to be um, anything major. Although I'm I'm not going to lie. Like as I was speculating, I'm like, you know, he could have the reverse of Mario's flood and it literally could be like a vacuum that was arranged grab at that point. Right. But it could also be just like flood and his down B could be something that pushes people away with the, that would mess with that would mess with Luigi's recovery though as well as if you, if you start messing with his down B right you're, no you're, you're totally right it's <laughs> it's just it just got me thinking in a, for about a bunch of different things you know so um, kind of cool that just a simple little sentence <laughs> again boom <laughs> internet on fire I love it love it okay next up we have uh, um, uh, Pokemon ditto Ditto will transform into the fighter who threw the pokey ball when joining the fight. After the transformation, Ditto will have the exact same abilities as the original fighter. So there you go. That's uh, that's that's Ditto. How, are you excited for today's music? Read it to me. All right. Today's music is you can now listen to Lost Painting from Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Uh, doesn't it resurrect memories of attaining... What? I I don't even know what that character is or what, the, what is that that word? Chris uh, Agrim? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, something from Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Uh, this version is arranged by. I would have had to have played the game to even like. <laughs> I'm sure it's. Re- I played some Castlevanias. I don't. I don't think I played Symphony of the Night. I played. I've played two minutes of it. That's how long yeah. I play most games though. Um. So this is arranged by. Do you want to do it? Tetsuya, yeah, you got it. You're <laughs> better at it than I am. <laughs> Shibi, sh- Shibata. <laughs> uh, and they're from Unique Note. Uh, also, give it a listen on headphones too. So apparently, there's deeper sounds in this arrangement. Oh, there's there's Easter eggs. I bet. Here we go. <laughs> So good. So good. I do want to point out to you that the, uh, the main theme is now on the music page as well. If you want to be able to check that out, it is at the very top of the page 
um, it's not mixed in with the, uh, with the rest of the tracks. So man, uh, it, Mr. Cool Red Luigi said that didn't start off very Castlevania like at first, but, uh, very, very unique. That electric guitar came in like the, 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 the bass, beats. bass player. The, yeah. The side blow bass player was back. He was back. So, uh, good stuff. Good stuff there. All right. Next up from, uh, 1023 green Hill zone. It's new stage. The, uh, the concave landscape and blue point marker are iconic to this stage. A point marker will twirl when the ball is hit, dealing damage to anyone nearby. The ground can collapse after attacking it. So be careful. Be careful. We can see Sonic and uh, uh, Bowser are, are doing battle in the, in the photo there. Next up we have Pac-Man fighter number 55. Uh, this fighter appears in both his classic form and his form with hands and legs. Uh, he has many unique special moves, including a trampoline or a fire hydrant. And for his final smash, he grows into a giant super Pac-Man chomping and launching his opponents. And I think we saw that in the uh, more so in the uh, new 58 second trailer that Nintendo dropped. They had Pac-Man kind of going sideways across the stage and then diagonally all just chomping, okay. throwing everybody every which way. Cool. And lastly, for the blog here, we have uh, from 1025 today's item, Nikki assist trophy, the host of swap note on the Nintendo 3DS system joins the battle. Her drawings all look very cute, but they still do serious damage. So be careful. Be careful. All right. Well, that is the Smash Bros blog for the week. Next, let's kind of talk. Uh, Let's talk some progress. We have a few different talking points I want to get into. And so how, how's your, how's been your progress this week with, uh, with smash? Uh, distracted by Starlink a little bit, but got a few games in. Um, I feel like I didn't play a ton on Wii U this week, but you and I got a few games in on three DS. Um, and I did a few on my own as well, just in four glory, even though it was on three DS, but still having a good time. like watching videos trying to get better on neutral game and uh just just working with it i mean you and i had i feel like even just great games on even on 3ds we were going back and forth yeah it's just that's it's it is a little bit tough going back and forth between the two because it's just like okay this game's in mud compared to (laughs) well and i I just don't like grabbing or shielding with those shoulder buttons just where they are as well where where how comfortable it is on a on a gamecube controller exactly oh speaking of gamecube controller guys on monday my uh white wii u uh smash 4 um gamecube controller showed up basically brand new in the box it had been opened but uh i don't think it was ever used it is so did you read is, the instructions in japanese it is crispy i did not <laughs> i did not so um but yeah i've for me, honestly, this week we've had, I've had a lot of stuff going on. It's been kind of a, it's just been kind of a hectic week. So I haven't been able to um, put as much time into smash as I would like. I've still played every day just to make sure I'm, I'm, I'm still progressing. But uh, I think the biggest thing, I feel like I'm one in just a little bit of a rut. And then two, I did pinpoint a few areas, um, that I was things that I were, that I was doing that were predictable. And what I, what, I, what dawned on me is I still love that jump button. Right. Mm-hmm. But where I seem to really like, I've calmed it down quite a bit in the center of the stage. I'm not using it nearly as much, but for my recovery, I will, I seem to, I have this tendency to want to jump, uh, jump from the ledge after, after grabbing the ledge, jump, and then jump again in hopes of getting behind my opponent and doing a back air. And I almost always put myself right in front. They just do a roll and yep. they you're predict you're predictable they, with where you're going to have to land because you don't have a jump. Exactly. And I, I was that yesterday's stream that yeah, I, I, just, you, you I mentioned called it, you out on like, it and you're like, I don't think so. And like, then about an hour later, you text you text me back on Discord. You're like, all right, I watched the replay and yeah, I'm jumping a lot on the edge. Yeah, that's where because I was like, man, I don't feel like I'm because I don't jump much during like during the, the neutral game in the center of the stage. But when I get to the edge is where I have my um, I have that issue of like 
And so what I've, I've tried to, I've, I'm like, okay, I, these are habits, right? I'm going to break these habits. So I'm, I'm getting back onto the, onto the stage either by, um, by either rolling or just, just pulling yourself back up and just standing there. Or if they're, if they're close enough, I may throw the attack as well. Right. It kind of just depends. And that has, that has helped me to mix things up. Another thing that I've noticed is as I've learned new things, I've stopped doing other things that I need to put back into my mix. I throw way less down airs with, uh, with Mario now like that, you know, his little tornado punch or whatever. I don't know the Mm -hmm. exact name of it, but I hardly throw it. I hardly, and I used to throw it all the time, but it, it still needs to be a part of my, um, my, my tool set. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like it's, I feel like I used it so much before that it again was something that was predictable, but I want to make sure that I'm, that I'm utilizing all of the, um, all of the assets that I have. So been using Cape more just as a, as a, um, an offensive tool. And what was interesting, yeah, going, I was going for that Instagram famous. Yeah. Getting, getting, making people famous on Instagram <laughs> with that, with that Cape. But what we had, ha- what I had happened a few times was like uh villager has, uh, he has projectiles that'll kill, right? Well, uh, super Nintendo and I were up, up in the air. He threw the projectile and I caped it right back at him and I got a kill with the Cape and I didn't know what happened. I was like, what, what just happened? We had to go back and watch the replay. And then sure enough, he had actually thrown his projectile and that's what I, I sent right back at him. I mean, it was literally immediate. We were so close to each other. You couldn't even hardly see, I, uh, see what it was, but it just, it was able to, to get a kill. So it's nice mixing that in there, trying to throw it. Um, I don't like, the spike with Mario is fairly predictable if you're going to do it. So I've been trying really hard to uh, mix that in, in times that it's like at the last second, like really trying to space it to where it's like right at the edge versus jumping way out and trying to land it and just, just whiffing it, you know, just trying to um, trying to, and I uh, I wait right there for my counter. Yeah. You did that to me one time. That was, that was pretty (laughs) crazy. So it's, it's still just every week is just learning. Right. But I feel like it's, we're, we're at that point. Like when we first started, this was such like, it all seemed overwhelming. Like it all seemed like this is never going to come together. And now it's like, okay, we've chipped away at this and we're, we're getting, we're, we're getting the hang of it. And now we're chipping away at this and it's just, it's just continually progressing continually. You know, I'm still not at the point that I'm jumping into four glory and beating everybody. You know, that's just, that's just not, that's not, that's not happening. But what, what, what elegant call you this week? Oh, he called me a casual. Yeah. He called me a casual. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I've been playing super serious for about three weeks. <laughs> it's like, you're casual. It's like, no, no. I said, I wasn't playing casually. You're a casual. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Plumber says, Josh makes this seem so technical, so tactical. It's called smash. I'm hoping to just smash buttons. <laughs> which you can totally do and have fun with, but it's, it's this game just has so much depth, right? And you just keep peeling layers back and you keep finding more and you you keep finding more ways to, to improve your game. And, you know, one of the other things that like, when I jump into training, the way I move in training versus um, the way (laughs) wave tsunami says, we love our casual dad. (laughs) <laughs> I, uh, okay. <laughs> so, but one of the ways when I'm in when I'm in training, I'm moving my Mario much faster than I do when I'm playing the game. And I've said this on the show before, but th- this week I actually started implementing more of that movement so that I could be moving around quicker, you know, even playing my son, he's like, "How are you throwing those those back airs so fast?" you know, like he's he was he was surprised we played a little bit this uh a little bit this morning. And, um, but even him, like, like he expects that spike. So I'm kind of, I'm it's, it's that, like that little bit of like that chess match, you know, like even with each move, you know, like how close can they get to the edge before I jump and hit that, hit that fair. Yeah. Cause unless it's a true combo with a true combo, they can't do anything about it. 
but if it's if it's anything else then it's that mind game of finding your entry point and trying to get there and and cause damage yeah and the other thing too is i'm continually working on like um mario's string of up air combos right and i've i've actually started landing that and it's uh um it feels it's really satisfying. You know, the other thing that happened today, I was playing my son and he got his first spike with link against me. He's and he was like, like immediately just super pumped. Like that's the most satisfying thing I've ever done in smash. I'm like, dude, I'm telling you. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm excited. And and he is not a fan of the GameCube controller, but uh, I'm like, just, you got to just get used to it, get used to it, just use it. And so he did, he did use it and he pulled that off and he was, he was pretty hyped. He didn't want, he's like, let's, he, let's he, sold, he sold him on the GameCube controller. Well, I don't know. I don't know. We're, we're still working on it, but, but he can, he can pro controller. That'd be all right. Uh, yeah. Well, what it was happening is he was playing with the, uh, he was playing with the game pad and he's like his, he was getting miss inputs and I'm like, well, see, these notches kind of help that not happen. And he's like, yeah, but I hate the giant A button. That's what he doesn't like. He doesn't like the giant A button. And I mean, I could, I, I get it. You know, he's been playing Xbox. That's really what he kind of started with was, um, I mean, he played GameCube when he was really, really little, but Xbox is where he spent most of his time. So, so and maybe the pro controller will be where he's at, but, uh, but yeah, overall, it's just been a fun week. It's been a fun. And the other thing that's been fun is playing with, um, playing with like Super Nintendo and kind of being able to um, show him different things and how to, you know, just how to do some different things and, and, and whatnot. And that's been, that's been cool as well. And, and to be honest, one of the greatest things this week is just seeing the conversations happening in discord and seeing people say like, um, you know, one, just the, the amount of support they're getting from other people in there, just like, you know, we have, we have people of all, like all ranges from like knowing very little about smash to, um, to being very good at the game. And everybody just seems to be really working well together and, and, and willing to, you know, people are like, this might be a dumb question. It's like, no, there's not, there's not a dumb question. Like we, we want you to, uh, be able to improve at this game. So ask those questions that you need answered. And, it's just been, I've seen, I can't remember who, who, who put it up there, but they were just like, you know, basically just detailing their progress since they've gotten involved with the community and, and things like that. And to me, that's, that's what I want to see. That's the point of this show, right? Like we want to talk news. We want to keep everybody up to date with what's happening with smash and that kind of stuff. But the main thing is, is I want to see this community forming that we are all getting better as smash players. And, uh, you know, and who knows that that leads to that can lead to many opportunities depending on how how far we can take this thing. So, you know, it gets me it gets me pumped. So I want to give a quick shout out to Addison for that Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much. Um, so there's Leo saying shout out to the Discord. Such an awesome community. Yeah, yeah. You guys keep coming in uh, like multiple people every week. I mean, just keep flooding in, and you guys are saying you're coming from here, and everyone everyone in the Discord is giving everyone a warm welcome, and. uh it's been, it's been good. I mean, there's tons of 3ds players and other people that have Wii U and here in six short weeks, we're all going to be merged onto the same, system, which is going to be just really fun to see how this discord just takes off. Dude, the smash, the smash uh, server in our discord, is just going to be wrecked. It is going <laughs> to be wrecked. It's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. So, Oh, it was Leo that was posting about his progress. Yeah, dude, it warmed my heart when I saw that. I was like, this is awesome. This is, this is the, this is the point of this. So it was really cool. It was really cool. Well, we started the show late today because I am in talks of, uh, I'm in talks with a, um, a local game shop and, and collectible shop, which I couldn't believe it. I went in there today. They have Amiibo. They're working on ordering the Amiibo that I don't have yet, which I'm really excited for that. There's only like two and they have like, like, like almost like they kind of took the place of Toys R Us as far as like Nintendo, like collectibles and toys and, and puzzles and coffee mugs and uh, all kinds of stuff. Right. Really cool. They said they have something like 45,000 pieces of inventory right now, and they're working to get up to 90,000. But they also have a massive space for uh, tournaments. And so I hit them up and I, I talked to the, the two owners and I said, hey, I want to get the ball rolling on getting Smash Bros tournaments here. What do you guys think about that? And they're like, oh, we're all for it. We're, we're, we're all for it. So I'm in the early stages. 
I'm going to need help with this. So if there are any TOs that listen to this podcast, please hit me up on Twitter or discord because I have questions. <laughs> you know, I have a lot of questions, um, in order to do like buy-ins, you have to have some kind of a permit. And so I want to find out about, I just want to get some of the logistics. The cool thing is these guys that I, that, that own this place, they are like, yeah, we're totally, we're totally for this. I made it very clear that like, this isn't like my, um, this isn't my expertise. I, I haven't done this. I just know that there's a lot of potential here and you guys have the spot for it and it could be very mutually beneficial and they totally agreed. And so we're going to get drinks and, uh, and talk about it further. But what that means is in the North, um, Northwest Washington, we could have one more local very soon. It may just start up as a, it may start as just kind of a, a like a monthly smash meetup, and then continue to grow from there as I get a better understanding of how this works. But um, basically have the space. We just got to work out more details, but there's going to be, there's going to be something, something happening uh, very, very soon. And so I'm really, really excited. I just, I just pulled in there on a whim and they were, you know, they were all for it. So uh, yeah. I want to encourage anybody do the same thing. If you have, if you know, look, that's where my, my biggest thing was like, where am I going to find a location? Like, can I rent a, like a, like a, like a, you know, like a, like a conference room and like a, like a hotel lobby or something like that, you know, like the different rooms they have available, that kind of stuff. So, um, so I'm stoked. I'm really stoked. Yeah, maybe, maybe you can work a, a discount into your contract. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, but anyway, that's part of the reason I was late because I was like, you know, I got to stop in this place. It's, it's not too far from my house and, uh, really, really cool. Really cool. So the last thing I wanted to talk about is right now is a prime time for anybody that's getting into content creation for smash bros. I want to give you guys some, some, maybe some pointers, advice, things that will help your content, um, be seen and, and, and kind of just dig into that. So, you know, there, there's not a ton of, of smash bros ultimate content going out right now. So the first thing when it comes to content creation is you always want it to add value to the consumer, right? You always want it to add value. So this is, this is where I struggle when it comes to content creation. Cause I'm like, okay, I don't want to just make a video where it's just me rambling right? Like it's just, it's just me rambling. So what is it that can, you know, what question can be answered? What, what problem can be solved? That's kind of the stuff you want to think about. And it's not, it's not easy to like, wait a minute, I'm just talking about smash bros. What do you mean? What pro you know? Well, for example, what controller should I use? People are, that's a question that gets asked a lot. How do I choose a main? I'm literally giving you guys the names of the next videos I have coming out, but <laughs> do the same thing. Cause you never know if you can get it to rank on Google. I'll even tell you how I'm titling my videos, smash bros ultimate. And then I'm putting like a, like a colon. And then how do I choose a main or, um, and then my first tag is going to be how to choose a main in smash. Right. So that basically you want to title your video. If you're doing YouTube videos, you're doing podcasts, you're doing blog posts, whatever it is that you're doing, you want to title it the way that people search for it. So that way it shows up in search results. It's that simple. It's called, it's called, they're, they're called keywords, right? And if you want to know, here's a quick tip on YouTube. If you have a video for smash bros ultimate, and it's concerning a certain topic, when you're titling your video, go up to the search bar and type in smash bros ultimate and see what pops up. See what the list is that pops up for the different names that autofill from YouTube. And that's how you're going to know the best way to title your videos so that they will show up in search results and get seen by the masses, right? As you get more likes and comments, that kind of stuff, it'll push your video higher up the charts. That's why you want to make sure that you, uh, that you're adding value to people that they want to engage with the video. If you can make them around 10 to 15 minutes, that seems to be what YouTube likes the best. Now they can monetize, they can monetize it pretty well later on when they, when they do that. Yeah. And so here's the other thing. Take inspiration 
from other creators. Don't copy other creators, right? Look at what other creators do and then ask yourself, how can I put, uh, how can I put my spin on this? How can I, you know, how can, how are you inspired from them? Right? Like what questions are brought up when you watch some of their videos? What do you think maybe that you could do better? That's what you want to do. Like look for inspiration, never plagiarize, never don't, don't copy anybody. You need to have, be your, you need to have your own voice. And as you, as you do this more, you will find your own voice. It doesn't happen right away. And anybody that's watched YouTube for any period of time knows that most creators go back and watch their first videos and cringe the whole time because they hadn't found their voice yet. So that's okay. That's okay. But smash bros content is literally like ripe for the picking. So start now, if you only have a cell phone, if you only have your, your, your iPhone, your Android, whatever, get a tripod, get a lapel mic for like 15 bucks and hook it into your phone and start recording, um, your thoughts and impressions, um, your, uh, you know, your analysis of videos, your, um, your speculations, all that kind of stuff. It's good content, right? And you can be, you can edit it on your phone and get it up on YouTube right now. Okay. Scripts, scripts are never a bad idea for those kind of exactly well. scripts are never a bad idea. And what's great with even just like, if you have an iPhone, you have iMovie, like you can easily uh, separate your audio from your video and cut out sections of your video and put like s- screenshots or other live footage. You can use your phone to screen capture um, video uh, like from like the E3 event, things like that. If you need, if you need B roll, you can do it all from your phone. So you could start, uh, you can start creating right now. So I hope, I hope this helps. And the, the thing to remember with content creation is the, is it's, um, people say, well, it's oversaturated. Remember cr- the cream always rises to the top. So put out the and best content you can go ahead. Crawler. If you guys are doing stuff like this, hop into the discord. We have links at the bottom of the discord for YouTube and Twitch. Um, it's kind of a, just a standing list. It's not kind of like up new, new stuff up now or anything like that, but just get your, get your content there. If you uh, post a link to your YouTube channel or your Twitch channel, we can kind of check it out and just let us know and we'll take a look. Yeah. Just, and there's chat saying different stuff. Captain Logan is saying, know what you're talking about. Yeah. Get a little, get a little script, you know, get a little outline of the three, the three topics you want to cover for a video, make one a week, right? Spend, spend all week in a few, like 15 minutes here and there, like, like crafting a script and then, you know, just read off of it. If you have to like set your, set your phone on your tripod and in front of your computer screen, the computer screen will light your face. You always need good lighting. And then you can kind of read and use your notes to put out like, so you're not stumbling over your words. You're not saying, um, you're just, you're just, uh, you're just rocking and rolling. So I hope that helps. Of course, in the future, you know, get us, get yourself a capture card, that kind of thing. So that you can you can actually capture gameplay and do commentary over that, that kind of stuff. But, but if you, if you right now you're listening, you want to start creating content for smash, but all you have is a phone as the, is the only way you haven't, you have the tools right now, spend another like $30 on a tripod and a microphone, to, like a little lapel mic and you're, you're good to go. You're good to go. So, um, that's going to, that's going to kind of do it. I hope that helps you guys. I can't wait to see some of the stuff you create tag me in some tweets or whatever. If you put a video out, I want to see it. All right. So, uh, with that, let's, uh, let's wrap this thing up. Where can we find you crawler? Uh, like we said about discord, uh, I'm hanging out in there. So n 64 josh.com slash discord, uh, come hang out. Let us know you came from here and we'll, uh, we'll get some games of smash in, uh, also on Twitter, nightcrawler 74 nightcrawlers without the E and then uh, on Twitch, I am going to try to get my stream up and going a little more often now. Um, I think my seven-week-old baby is starting to settle into a little bit better routine at night, so we can maybe get some uninterrupted streams going. Um, but yeah, check me out there, and over to you, Josh. 
All right, guys, you can follow me on Twitter at N64Josh. The music you're hearing right now is the Metal Melee theme. You can check it out at N64Josh.com slash Metal Melee. If you'd like to get yourself a free book from Audible, go to audibletrial.com slash SBC. If you want to get yourself a gaming chair from OPC, go to N64Josh.com slash OPC. You automatically save $10 at checkout. Guys, remember to check the show notes, which uh, can be found at N64Josh.com slash SBC33. There's so many resources there on how to improve and get better at smash you know a bunch of different links to check out um i am streaming on a very it's trying to get as regular as possible this next this next week i'm gonna shift from streaming at very early morning to in the afternoon so i can actually stream for a longer period of time while more people are awake okay so that's going to be starting probably 2 30 in the afternoon each day monday through Thursday, and then of course Friday is going to be my regularly scheduled stream of um, where I do first looks and some smash and that kind of stuff. So um, that's gonna that's gonna do it for this week's episode. Thank you guys so much for listening. If you're here live, thank you so much. If you got a second to rate and review on iTunes, we greatly appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next one later. <laughs>